Recently, we built some semi-scratch-built ON30 flat cars, and we built a crankshaft load for one of those three cars. Hello, YouTube. My name is Sammy. Stick around and see how we make some flat car loads for the other two ON30 semi-scratch-built flat cars, right here on Sammy's Workshops. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Sammy and welcome back to Sammy's Workshops. Recently we built some semi-scratch built ON30 flat cars and we built a unique crankshaft load for one of them. This time we'll make some flat car loads for the other two semi-scratch built flat cars. Now a quick review, we used um, some freight car underframes from Bachman, added some strip styrene around the outside, some detail parts, covered the decks with India ink stained coffee stir sticks, and voila, we had flat cars. On the flat with a crankshaft load, we added some Grantline empty stake pockets around the outside. For the other two cars, we added stake pockets with stakes attached, also from Grantline, for a little variety. Some wooden pole stock and some dry transfers from our friends over at Clover House. That pole stock comes 10 pieces to a package at a 0.281 diameter, which is approximately 5 sixteenths. That'll give us a 14 inch O scale diameter pole. Um, since those lengths come 24 inches long, we can cut them to a 5 inch length, which is about 127 millimeters for our metric friends, for a scale 20 foot long pole. Uh, out of a whole package, that would net you 40 pieces of pole stock and then 10 leftover lengths at 4 inches. Uh, let's save those for a future project I have in mind. So um, even though my pr package was a little short, um, it wasn't short from the factory. I had used some of the poles in another project. Um, but anyway, I still had 16 lengths of the 20-foot pole to put on each of the long flat cars and a number of leftovers for that next project. So I was very happy with the outcome. Once I had all the pole stock cut to length, I then cut some scale lumber approximately eighth inch square or scale three by three at a length, excuse me, scale six by six, sorry, at a length of one and three quarter inches or 45 millimeters for the dunnage to support the poles, three pieces per pole load. Then I added a little white glue. In my case, I was using some Mod Podge here to secure the poles to the dunnage. And we begin to stack them up with six poles in the first layer, then five in the second, four in the third layer, and then finally two more on the very top. Or was it just one? Not sure there. Check the picture. <laughs> I should have. Anyway, a few drops of glue along the way and a little weight keeps those poles aligned while the glue sets up. Next, some 1 16th inch black chart pack tape was used to make up a nice metal band to secure that load for shipping. A thinner piece of tape would have been better, but this was the thinnest I could find, and since I didn't really want to cut it on my own, um, I used what I could get. I started and ended each wrap of the black tape on the underside of the pole load, and then a drop of CA glue made sure the ends weren't going to separate later. Finally, a few drops of white glue on the bottom of the dunnage strips and careful placement on the flat car, and the load is set in place. Based on some comments on previous videos, I'm not going to switch to a high-speed video here today. What I'm going to do is let this run out in real time so you can see every step that I'm doing. Um, that way, you know what's going on. If you don't want to wait through all of that, why don't you skip forward at this point to about 12 minutes 30 seconds into the video and then pick it up in real time from there. Hope you'll enjoy it. I'm going to have a little music now.
Next up, I use some waxed black sewing thread for the hole downs. You could just as easily use some small chain here too. The black thread was something I had on hand, so I went with what I had. Just like in the old rock and roll song, second car was the same as the first, and nope, I'm not Henry VIII, just Sammy G, and here we are with two more semi-scratch semi built flat cars and their loads all ready for our railroad to make some dough. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and click on that alert bell to get notified of new videos being uploaded. I try to upload new videos every couple of weeks, usually on Wednesdays, with some others in between as time and projects allow. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a website coming soon for patterns I digitize and plans I have to download. There's a way to support the channel through a Patreon account if you'd like to. I also have a PayPal method if Patreon's not your thing. Uh, there will be Amazon links in, to the tools and supplies I use if you want to get some of the same items, if that was what was used this week. And big thanks to the folks over at Amazon. That does help support the channel, too. And finally, be sure to leave a comment or suggestion. I'd love to know what you'd like to see here. I did start this channel to answer questions and to provide advice and um, such uh, based on past questions and comments from my family and friends. Thanks again for stopping by. Come again soon and till next time, see ya!